Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. In this video, we are going to be discussing how to create a VLAN. Alright, so from the menu, we are going to go to Network Interfaces, and as you can see, I've already created a handful of VLANs on my Fortilink interface. Um, I'm going to show you our manifest, right? So when you're building out a network, it's really important to collect the manifest because this is going to be what this is going to be the documentation that you use as a baseline to build your networks off of. So I've gotten most of these VLANs built out except for this DMZ VLAN. Um, and I've also gotten a, a lot of our address objects and stuff created in the firewall as well um, based off of our manifest and our planning. Um, so if you look at this manifest, you know, this is our Danville location. So this is going to be Kevin's firewall, and this is the Spoil location. This is going to be Michael's firewall. And we're going to eventually tie all these in together. But for now, we're going to go off of this. So we need to create VLAN 109, and it's going to have this subnet range. So let's go into our firewall. And from Network Interfaces, we're going to click Create New Interface. So the type that we want to select is going to be VLAN. There's a bunch of different interface options on here, but for this one, we're going to do a VLAN, and I'm actually going to build it on the DMZ interface because there's a new tool in here that I want to try. So for the name, this is not changed. You cannot change this after you create this. So I always like to make it the VLAN number. And then in the alias, this can be updated later on. So I'm going to make the alias the logical name of what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and put this on my other screen. So I'm going to manually assign this address as a slash 24. You never, ever, ever want to allow the FortiGate to create the address object for you. It just doesn't give you as many options later on. We're going to create these address objects the same, but we're going to do it manually so that we have full control over it. And then the administrative access that we want on this. I'm just going to allow ping for troubleshooting. I'm going to create a DHCP server with you know, just a, a few IPs. I'm going to start the range at 200. Uh, the DHCP options on the interface are pretty cool. Um, you can you know, make your uh, DNS server the interface IP if you want to do DNS relaying. To keep it simple, I'm not going to do any of that stuff. I'm not going to do any of this advanced configuration. Um, you can you know, put your DHCP options in here. You can create MAC reservations. Um, and then down here on the network, we're going to enable device detection. This is going to allow the FortiGate to pick up via LLDP what type of devices are on the network. Um, so from there, you're just going to hit OK. Oops. I it would help if I actually put the VLAN ID in there. Alright, so, okay. So now that that's built out, I'm going to flag this as green and save it. And then on our DMZ interface, we see the little plus sign now. And the DMZ VLAN is on here. And that is the basics of how to create a VLAN on a 48 firewall. All right, and as a side note, I actually built that VLAN on this physical DMZ interface, um, and I have deleted it and rebuilt it on our Fortilink interface. I had heard through the grapevine that you were going to be able to use this integrate interface option, which is new in the 7.0 firmware, uh, to move VLANs from one physical interface to another but it doesn't look like that's supported. So I went ahead and I actually you know, deleted that and rebuilt it on the Fortilink interface. And on the Fortilink interface, it gives you a few more options. So you can color code your VLAN um, on the Fortilink port. And then down here at the bottom, underneath the device detection, it also gives you the ability to automatically authorize devices. So this is gonna be uh, helpful if you're tying it in with other Fortinet equipment that needs to be authorized in the security fabric. It also does IGMP snooping, DHCP snooping. You can block intra VLAN traffic. Um, and then you can put a security mode on there. And those options are available when you tie it to the Fortilink. Um, so the integrate interface looked promising, um, but it looks like it's actually limited to moving physical interfaces. 
to a zone or if you want to add a physical interface into an aggregate interface. You can select an existing interface, you can create an interface, you know, because you know, the Fortilink is an aggregate, so it supports that, but it does not support moving a VLAN from one physical interface to another. So I just thought that was an important thing to note. Catch you on the next video.